Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up a server for CSGO. Now, no you don't have to buy one, you can run from uh, from your PC. Um, if you run it through CSGO, now doing it this way it can lag if you have people on it and you're all throwing smokes and whatever. So it's, it's better to actually run a server like what I'm about to show you through um, Steam CMD instead of through a CSGO. So firstly type Steam CMD in Google and go to the top link. Also the link will be down, uh, down in the description below guys. Okay, download in Steam CMD. Click that. Download Steam CMD for Windows. We'll click this. This is all Windows by the way, not Linux. So Steam CMD, open it. And we'll have this here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to minimize this background. I'm going to open up a folder. I'm going to put this in my C drive because I got a hell of more space in here. I'm going to name it Steam CMD. And I'm going to drag this into the Steam C uh, Steam CMD folder that we just made. And we're going to open it up. And we just wait a moment for it to go to 100%. It's the first time opening it, so it's uh, doing all the stuff that it needs to do. There we go, it's done. You know it's done when it says Steam and it, you can type. So we're going to type in Login Anonymous. And we're going to wait for it to, there we go. So once we're logged in, we're going to go back and I'm just going to make another folder. I'm going to call it um, Steam CMD Games. Actually, no, 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 no. I'm going to just name it CSGO server, underscore server. That That's good enough for me. I only want a CSGO server. But if you want to make a folder and put different folders in that folder for each game, like, yeah, do it. Feel free to do it. Okay, let's go. So we're going to type in force underscore install underscore dir for directory. And we're going to choose the path. So what we did was C CSGO server and yeah. So I'm going to put C CSGO underscore server and enter. And now that's going to install the server into that folder. So now what we're going to do is we're going to install the server. So we're going to do app underscore update 740 validate. Um, so app underscore update space 740 space validate and enter. Now this might take a while depending on your internet and what the hell you're doing. So keep that in mind. And back in the old days of SRCDS, it said, go get yourself a cup of tea or a cup of coffee. I can't remember, <laughs> but yeah. All right, guys, while the, while the server is doing, what we're going to do is we're going to go into manage game servers. Uh, it's like the new thing <laughs> uh, for setting up your own server. It's your own. It's like, I don't know. Anyway, so you go over here and you type in the app ID, you log in, you uh, it's, a, it's an official Steam website, or you can type it in on Google if you don't trust me. Um, app ID of the base game, we're going to put 730 for CSGO, and we're going to put memo, bloop tutorial server, and then create. And we'll just leave this here. Uh, we never remove this, we just keep it here. Alright guys, so right here, um, I found most of this off Google. And basically, it's going to be the server.cfg, and you can download this in the description below, um, server.cfg. And all you have to do with this is put it in your CFG folder of the server when it's obviously done um, installing. And um, you're going to replace these hashtags with your info. And that is all you need to do so the set steam account is the thing on the manage game servers it's the game login token right here that's what you're going to put there the archon password is to access your commands um uh, like console commands and stuff like admin stuff uh password is what people connect to you know ip and then password and then the host name will be like whatever the hell you want pretty much what people will see if they search for the server all right, guys, now I'm going to make another text document and you have to do this yourself. And what we're going to do is we're going to open it up and hold on. OK, so we're going to open up your new text document. And this will be down, low, down below in the description. Copy and paste this. You have to do this yourself. Copy and paste this into a text document. 
on the end we're gonna put plus this will also be there um, it's gonna look like this and uh, the set steam account basically put your um, token in here and leave the netpot try one as one so uh, also put your token in this section here so I'm gonna copy mine and I'm gonna put it in this one and we're gonna save as and we're gonna save it as all files again and start dot bat and save all right guys now that everything is done we're gonna open up our CSGO server folder and right in here we're gonna put the start dot bat and we're gonna open CSGO CFG and you'll see there's nothing in here that we um, like there's no server.cfg and there's also no configs so I'm gonna show you all the configs and stuff and we will get that done in a moment drag your server.cfg into your CFG folder so mine's already set up and make sure your start.bat has your correct information at the end Alright guys, now we're going to type app underscore update 740. Uh, don't put validate at the end, we just put 740. Okay, it's already up to date. So if you want to update your server, let's say there's an update on CSGO and your server is out of date. Uh, the way you'd update it is type login anonymous and then you'd do that force install directory to your directory and then you do app underscore update 740. Uh, that's the way I do it, it works, so yeah. Okay, we're gonna exit this now because we're done here. And the start is fine, so my CSGO is already loaded. Um, I'm just gonna up I'm just gonna open this and you'll see this open up. And we'll see the server open up. We're gonna allow access. Also, make sure you port forward. I'm not gonna show you how to do that. Make sure you port forward 27015. Okay, there's no errors in the console. Everything seems to be working fine. So we're going to minimize that. We're going to keep that open. Keep this open, but in minimize mode. And we're going to open up CSGO. Okay. And we're going to browse community servers. And we're going to bloop CSGO server. Here it is. And the password was 123. Moment of truth. <laughs> so, yep. Dust2 has loaded. But... It doesn't matter for us. What it matters is if a buddy can join. So we're gonna do Archon underscore password one two three Archon Archon bot underscore kick. All the bots are kick. Get out. I'll show you how to execute a config in a moment, guys. But firstly, we need to see if a buddy can join the server. So, alright, guys. So I've oh there we go. So my buddy has joined, and we have proof the server is online. It is working. Um, thank you for help helping me. So guys, now I'm opening up the folder again and we're gonna find the CSGO server. And in the start, I actually forgot to add this, but we're just gonna put it after active. Uh, minus tick rate uh, 124. No, 128, that's 128 tick, my bad. <laughs> and um, I'm gonna close down the server. I'm gonna close this. And I'm going to save this with a tick rate 128. You don't have to do this. This is just going to be in there for you. This is just for me. But don't forget, you need minus uh, tick rate 128 in there. Don't forget about that. Now we're going to go over config. So we're going to add a config into it. So, for example, I made a video on one of my old... Uh, well, it's not old. But I made a video on my config that I use for the practice config. So I'm just going to load up my my website. I'm going to go to downloads, practice config, and there we go. It's there. I'm going to download ESL config as well. There we go. So I've got those downloaded. Open them both up. Did that open? Oh, it has now. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to drag all of these into our CFG folder of the server. So there we go. We don't have to restart it. Um, although I closed my server to add tick rate 128 so I'm going to open up the server again ok so the server's loading oops uh, the server's loading now and I'm in 
and we're gonna load up Archon, so Archon password 123, Archon, and then we're gonna XX, so we're gonna put the practice, actually we're gonna do ESL first, ESL 5 on 5. There we go. So ESL configs loaded. That was easy life. And if you want to do the practice config, it's the same, but you do proc with two C's. And there's the practice config. And the really awesome thing about um, running a server like this as well is you can actually bind. So basically the buttons you will never ever touch in your life, you can bind keys to that. So you can do an execute. Do you remember in like old people in source? Uh, by the way, the video is done. So if you guys want to click out, but if you want to hear what I have to say about uh, configs, uh, then stay tuned. Um, so basically, if you're using keys and you bind, uh, you make a config for each key, um, you can actually do a live on three restart. Um, it's not too difficult and it works. I will show you guys how to do it right now. So we're going to open up a this text document. We're going to type in um, we're going to type in exec executed LO3 config and then we're going to do uh, actually we've we got to put a say on here and we're going to do say law one and we're going to do mp underscore restart game one and we're going to save this as law one and then we're going to edit this um, to delete that and put law two. Oh, I, I don't forget to put .cfg on the end by the way guys that's what I forgot to do because I'm an idiot and we're also going to make a law three it's going to say live and we're going to put this as law 3.cfg and now that we have all the CFGs here we're going to put them into the CFG folder and we're going to hop back into game and we're going to do uh, bind and then we're going to, right, so we're going to do insert, right? So INS, and we're going to put exec low one. Oh, fuck. Start again. Bind insert to low, exec low one. If I press it, don't forget to put archon actually, archon exec low one. That's what I forgot. And there we go. Executed live on three config and then LO1 and you can put anything right so it doesn't really matter and I'm gonna do LO2 on home and then I'm going to do LO3 on page up so if I do this all together boom 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 and that's pretty much how you do a live on three config but you can also use alternatives. You can use eBot, and eBot is an a, a absolutely incredible um, system to use. So I recommend you guys checking out eBot and making an account and setting up account on there. All right, guys. Well, hopefully this video helped. Um, also, if you don't want to use eBot, then using LO3 with the execute on ESL is an absolutely amazing way to do it. Um, I prefer eBot because of, you know, dot pause and stuff like that, and it's really awesome. So, eBot is really awesome, but if you don't want to set up eBot or if it's being glitchy one day, then you can also, you, you know, you can just do your LO3. So, have fun with that, guys. Take care. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.